I created Ronaldinho's son in FIFA 23. Real name Jao Mendes, we have put him into the game. The 18 year old recently signed for Barcelona's academy about a week ago. And so I have gone ahead and put Jao Mendes on Barcelona. Now Ronaldinho's son, however, is only 65 overall. So I don't think he's necessarily displacing Robert Lewandowski from that starting striker position yet. The highest rating that Ronaldinho has in FIFA is a 94 for his prime icon. And so today, we are going to attempt to get to a 94 overall with Jao Mendes and make him better than his father. We're going to do this by training him every single week until eventually his overall matches his father. And yes, I have once again returned to become the manager and to coast him throughout his career. Yes, I am wearing a Real Madrid jacket as the Barcelona manager. Yes, I am trying to get murdered. And by the way, people, before we continue on, I want to say shout out to Kepa Rick. He's the man that made the Jao Mendes face mod and he's done a superb job. Go check his work out on Patreon, buy me a coffee and yeah, show some love. Now look, I significantly doubt that Jao Mendes is going to play when his competition is Lewandowski and also to an extent Memphis Depay. But nonetheless, I'm going to simulate season one to see if he gets any game time at Barcelona and if he doesn't, then we'll probably have to send him away on loan. At the end of season one, Barcelona win La Liga and we can see that Jao Mendes, Ronaldinho's son, made 18 appearances but only got the one goal all season long. But it came in the Champions League, so you know, fair play. So now that we've established that, I'm going to send him away on loan. We're just going to see who goes and tries to get him. Ronaldinho's son wins a La Liga title in his first season. He made enough appearances to justify getting a medal. And as we enter season two, we have a loan offer from an MLS club, Seattle Sounders. I don't want to give them the loan option to buy. I just want to loan him for a year if that's possible. Maybe not surprisingly, that was rejected. They only wanted it with the option to buy. I had another loan offer come in, and this one is from an Argentine club, Club Atletico Tigre. This is just for a two-year loan deal, so he would be away from Barca, away from La Liga for two whole years. And the club's got red and blue, sort of like Barcelona as well, so I, I, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Confirmation then of Jao Mendes being loaned out for two years. This team, ladies and gentlemen, is still quite strong. You know, they're a decent, like, mid to, I would say, low 70 rated players, but their best rated player is a 76 rated striker. So Jao Mendes on loan is still not going to be the guy in this team yet. But anyway, we're here, we're in Argentina, let's advance on forward. At the end of what is still technically season one in Argentina, we have one game left and there are four teams that could still win it. So let's play this final game of the season and see if by some miracle we can win another league title. Ronaldinho's son's got the ball going. They've given him some space. Lovely touch and a goal! Joe Mendes in next to no time. I am just a lost Australian with a Real Madrid jacket. What am I doing in Argentina? Oh, the gap in the defense. Oh, and he's put it wide. Thank the heavens. Boca Juniors are currently tied, which is exactly what we need. Please let it stay that way. Cutting ball here. Jao Mendes is away once more. Jao Mendes, number two. Just making sure of it, Ronaldinho's baby boy. I don't think we'll get the hat trick, but as long as we get the title, then I'll be fine with it. What are the celebrations like? Are they big? They seem a bit muted, which is not what we want. Are we just waiting for other news to come through? I don't know. Jao Mendes with a great game, but sadly, I don't think it's going to result in the Argentine title. We beat Estudiantes 2-0, but it looks like Boca Juniors did win their game in the end, so we miss it by a point. Hopefully next season, now that he's the, n the number one striker, he will actually play and actually get goals. Get excited, lads. We've got a full season in the Argentine League, and Jao Mendes is the number one, number nine. And at the end of season two, we unfortunately got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Libertadores, so... No, like, continental trophy there. But we have won the Argentine League. So that's now a second league title and a second trophy. And now he's won in Argentina. He's won in two separate continents. Oh my god, wait a minute. Where's the trophy? Where's the trophy? Oh no. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we've got an updated version of the... <laughs> we've got an updated version of the meme. <laughs> I don't know where the trophy's gone, but okay. Oh my God, it keeps getting even better. This is goddamn hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This season is a hell of a lot better. He played 37 games, got 17 goals and 13 assists. 
by far the player of the season in this team. And of course, now up to a 77 overall, I still don't think he's challenging Lewandowski, but I don't know what the striker situation is now like at Barcelona as he's about to go back. The son of Ronaldinho gets his win at the end of season two in Argentina. Let's start season three in La Liga back at Barcelona. So back to Barcelona we go and what the hell happened in the striker department? Lewandowski is down to an 85 overall, 36 years of age. Romelu Lukaku has somehow ended up at Barcelona. He is also 85. 32 year old Medi Taremi is 81 and he's playing. I think I'm just going to thug it out for this season again and hope he gets a bit of game time, continues to develop, and I think maybe next season we could see him being used a lot more. With Lewandowski, Lukaku, and the guys higher rated than him, pretty much all old and dropping off, I think there'll be a time maybe in the future season where he eventually becomes the main number nine. And at the end of season three, we have another league title for Barcelona. However, though, I hate to report that João Mendes only made four appearances all season long. He's 80 rated, he's got loads of potential. He went up by three overall this season and he's only making these bare bones appearances. What is Barcelona doing? Barcelona also won the Club World Cup and the UEFA Super Cup, even though we know João Mendes did not compete in any of those. Screw it, we'll give it to him. We'll go and sim maybe half of next season at Barcelona, get to the January transfer window. And if João Mendes is still not making any minutes happen, then I, look, I just gotta either loan him or send him away. And halfway into the season, I hate to report, João Mendes has only made five appearances, got the one goal. Lads, this is getting ridiculous, all right? Sweet. We are nearly 24 with João Mendes. We cannot wait forever for Barcelona to realize, oh, Ronaldinho's son is going to be the next big thing. You're giving more games to a 34-year-old Iranian who is lower rated. I am di I'm done with the disrespect. We're out of here. Ronaldinho's son's getting added to the transfer list. I don't know if it's going to work out at Barcelona. We have some big offers from some really interesting teams, all within La Liga, Celta Vigo, and we've also got Athletic Bilbao. Honestly, I think I might just let Mendes decide. I'm going to accept both Celta Vigo and Bilbao, and we'll see where he ends up. Well, for a staggering 95 million bucks, he's gone to Celta Vigo. Oh, God knows where they got that money from. Let's see what in a season, season and a half, João Mendes can do with Celta Vigo. Clearly doing pretty well because he's already been able to get them to a Copa del Rey final. In the Santiago Bernabeu, can João Mendes win his team the Copa del Rey? He will be the one to get things kicked off. Come on, boys. It's the Copa del Rey final. Is he on? Is he on? Goal! No, it won't count that linesman has to kill all of our fun. He's had the ball in the back of the net, Mendes, but it does not count, not yet. Maybe this time, it will not be bloody Mendes, it's Larson. Oh, no way. We finally score, they get the goal back. You are joking, man, come on. Big gap, major gap, Zhao Mendes. Oh my god, we can't score! There is so little time left to go. Gotta work something out here. It might not happen, it won't happen. It's extra time. Oh, Mendes, he's offside. What is he doing? It could get interesting here. Defenders all over the place. Sliding. Tibidi. Cut back. Wide of the goal! Oh, I've never been so pissed off! Nothing is going in, and Zhao Mendes, after lighting up the first 20 minutes, has dropped off. I think he's on here. He has to be. The touch again is too heavy and takes him too close to the fucking goalkeeper so he can't get past him. I'm done with this prick. Finally, I can see how a 35-year-old Iranian was getting games over you. You useless has-been. I think this means, oh my God, penalties it is. Best penalty taker in the team. He will go first. Can we save it to start? Oh, no, we can't. Jar Mendes, after all that, you better score. And he does. Oh my god, and now the rest of the teammates are going to kill me, aren't they? Marcos Andre, save! Tapia up next. Tapia scored. And it's another save! Paul Lopez! De La Torre! Torre scores! And Paul Lopez, hilariously another kind of Barcelona player that didn't quite work out or whatever. He has the chance to seal it. Adley, he's gone up the middle! That's fine. It falls to the great Dane who scored the goal in the game and saved. I don't believe it. Oh my god, it nearly ended up in anyway. 
Now we have to score with Tabidi or it's over. And it's still going. Key down the middle. This is crazy. It just keeps going and going and going. And now it's over. Now it's over. We've lost with Celta Vigo in the Copa del Rey final. You are a choke artist. You're a bottler. You're an embarrassment to your father. Celta Vigo finish in eighth place. So no European football whatsoever for Jao Mendes next season. 82 overall, despite the fact he just absolutely was useless. So out of nowhere in that game, it was like a damn Karius level choke in that damn final. I hope it does not follow Jao Mendes for the rest of his career. He, he just, uh, it's going to follow me. I'm never going to stop thinking about that. Delta Vigo don't even finish in the top 10. I'm starting to think this was a bad career move. I mean, to be fair, the stats maybe don't lie. 13 goals, 11 assists. That's okay uh, from basically 40 appearances. But Jao Mendes is up to an 86. Those stats look incredible. And he's very clearly too good for this team. But I signed up for this, didn't I? And at the start of season six, there was one team that did come in with an offer for him. Of all teams, it's Paris Saint Germain. Of course, I'm gonna go there to be his manager. So Jao Mendes now suddenly finds himself at his father's old, old club in PSG before the Qatari money. And the team is, of course, stacked. He's going to be up top alongside a 94 rated Mbappe. That might take away some goals and assists from him. But to be fair, he just needs to start winning some trophies. Something I am very confident he can do at PSG. Please let this be the start of his career, really. Well, uh, first season in France has gone fairly well. That tends to happen when you play for PSG. We have won the league. That also tends to happen when you play for PSG. Another trophy after a couple of seasons without one for Gio Mendes. At Barcelona, and now this time with PSG, I'm assuming he'd have had way, way more to do with it. It is going to be another league title. He also picked up the Coupe de France in this season as well. And look at this. Jao Mendes is finally here. Kylian Mbappe in two more games got 26 goals and six assists. I mean, Jao Mendes in two less games has gone and got 37. And he's up to an 88 overall. I swear, if he won a Champions League, he could have won the Ballon d'Or, man. Finally, at last, one good career move. And the boy's outshining killing Mbappe. The son of Ronaldinho is going to tear it up at PSG. And you might notice up top, no killing Mbappe anymore. He has almost finally at last ended up at Real Madrid. And wow, have PSG completely flat out dominated. They have won the league by just an extraordinary amount of points. In fact, they're probably going to go undefeated. God damn it, these jackets look absolutely class. You know, I tell you what, if we get 5,000 likes on this video, I'm going to just, I'm going to cop this jacket. I don't care how expensive it is. Jao Mendes is just going to use his pace and try to go around the outside. He is too... Damn quick for the ball! And Jao Mendes is going to make sure PSG do go undefeated. That's what 99 pace and acceleration looks like right there, baby. Surely they won't tie it. With a goal here, off the woodwork. They came close, but no, we win another game and we seal an undefeated, invincible season in League One. And it is yet another League One title for Jao Mendes. And that's pretty much it for trophies this season. Jao Mendes turned into both a goal-scoring and assist-getting machine. 31 and 30. I don't even know if Messi, uh, well, maybe, probably, but has anyone ever got 30 goals and 30 assists in the one season? A 90 overall for Jao Mendes too means we are so close to getting a Ronaldinho's level. You know, he's in the 90s as well, off the back of a 30-30 season. Could he win a Ballon d'Or? Wait to find out if he wins a World Cup, which of course Jao Mendes has now been called up for. It would certainly take him a long way to winning it. He is up top for this Brazilian side. They top their group winning all three games and let's see how they go in the knockouts. And Mark in the round of 16 and Jao Mendes scores. Twice, actually, in fact. Here we go. Finals against Belgium. And they got the win against Belgium on penalties. Semi-final versus Argentina. And they've lost. Oh, Argentina. Oh, it's Julian Alvarez that knocks him out. Damn, that sucks. So close yet so far. Could he still win a Ballon d'Or? He has done it. He has won it. A Ballon d'Or for Jao Mendes. The son of Ronaldinho also gets a Ballon d'Or. That's got to be the first father-son combo to both win Ballon d'Ors. It has to be. Another season. And again, PSG win the league. This time in no way near as commanding a fashion. But still 31k 
you know, wins out of 38 is good. However, I have noticed that Jao Mendes is injured. I don't know how bad or how long that injury is. Oh, God, it must not have been a good one. He's had a torn calf muscle. He's still going to be injured for two months, even after this season. So he'll probably be injured going into next season. He's actually slowed down a bit this season as well with 21 goals and 12 assists. You know, arguably, he wasn't even the best player for us this season. He got outscored by Jury Telia, men of all people. He also won the trophy to Champions again, but in the cup competitions, both domestic and, of course, the Champions League, round 16 exits everywhere he goes. Well, once again, it's another league untitled. This time again, another just undefeated season. It's the same two titles every damn season. Trophy de Champions and the Coupe de France. So this is the first treble. Again, great, but we need to see improvements in Europe. And can you believe it? It's Barcelona that win it. And guess who we had in the semis? Yep, João Mendes went up against his old club and he got knocked out before the final. He's up to 93 overall. He's one overall away from tying his you know, dad's highest overall. And it's just, it just seems like his career, while still, you know, good, is just not amounting to what it could be. In fact, nine of the 13 trophies he's won in his career now are pretty much all French trophies. Now look too, Jean Mendes only has like a month left on his contract. Would you stay at PSG in this situation if you were just not having it happen in the Champions League? Would you go? This is a very good season, you know. It's just without the Champions League, that's what we're chasing now. And can we get it with PSG? And uh, wow, people, we now know where he's ended up. He's gone to Real Madrid. Wow, is that a big stab in the back to Barca or is this justified? He wouldn't have played there for years. Barcelona beat him in the Champions League. Maybe he's going for revenge. Look at the front three now. João Mendes and Mbappe reuniting again with Vinicius Jr. on the left. My Real Madrid jacket also actually makes a bit of sense. Well, it's back to the old days in La Liga. Real Madrid, not surprised with a front three like that, have walked the league. Not undefeated, though. They win the Super Copa and the Copa del Rey, so a domestic treble, but... Again, man, the Champions League will not happen for João Mendes. They have lost to Arsenal in the quarterfinals. Brilliant season from João Mendes, although he doesn't actually go up to a 94. He stays at 93. Will he actually even get to 94 and actually reach his, his father's overall? He is up to 205 career goals. He's got 120 career assists and 16 titles. 16 trophies is great. I mean, Harry Kane would take that in a heartbeat, even if they are just French and Spanish. The big one still continues to elude him, though. When, when will it come? Look at him. Season 11, bag and player of the month awards. He's probably going to bag a Ballon d'Or this season, maybe. Hell yeah, baby. That's what I thought. Jao Mendes is now a two-time Ballon d'Or winner. That's one more than his dad got. And look at the overall, 94. He has now matched his dad. Normally in the past, I could probably leave it here, but I'm not, I'm not settled with this. Two Ballon d'Ors, also getting to 94. I'm still not ready to say he's better or that he's done more. For me, he has to win the Champions League at least once. With this insane Real Madrid side, what a front three. Will it finally happen this season? Well, another La Liga title again at the end of this season. Another Copa de España. And what about the Copa del Rey? Yes, it's another treble. It's crazy. But could this finally finally be the season where despite all their dominance, despite continuously failing for a Champions League final, is this the time? It is! It is finally, finally a Champions League final for João Mendes. It is also a 95 overall, so he's gone beyond Ronaldinho whilst getting 37 and 30 in his best ever season. I thought this moment would never come, but it finally has. At the age of 30, we're in the Champions League final. The two most successful clubs in Champions League history, too, facing off. That's crazy. With Real Madrid and AC Milan, João Mendes, Mbappe, Vinny Jr. Who the hell is going to be the one to score today? Let's hope it's this man. Underway with this Champions League final. Love that ball. Love that one. It might be an assist. It's an assist. It's Mbappe that scores the opener. He has got Real Madrid in front. Wait. Surely, yes! Through the gates! And João Mendes scores in the Champions League final. The son of Ronaldinho playing for Real Madrid. Could be another big moment here. It could be an assist. If it can get to him, it will. And all three have scored. Vinny, Mbappe, and João Mendes all scoring in the final. That's a ball. 
Oh, to Mbappe. Can we seal it with one more? Lovely delivery and a lovely way to finish it off. Chao Mendes has sealed a 4-0 win for Real Madrid. 95 overall, a two-time Ballon d'Or winner, and now, of course, a Champions League winner. That is how you do it. I think we can safely say he's better than his dad. Jao Mendes is a Champions League winner with Real Madrid, and that will do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have made it all the way through to the end, and tell me anyone else you'd like me to do this video with. I'll see you all for the next one. Catch you later. Bye-bye.